Today I'm going to teach you a tool to stop fighting in its tracks, to stop any argument, any fight right in its tracks, and to help you shift that energy into a real conversation that could be helpful instead of another argument. So, and this is quick and easy to learn. You can, you're going to take this away and have such a win today from it. It's something I've been using for years and it's, I call it the wake up word. And basically it's a neuro-linguistic programming technique that I've kind of co-opted in this way. And it's really effective. I've used it with couples for years uh, and with, with tremendous success. So here's what it is. Basically, what you're gonna do, you and your partner, when you're not fighting, <laughs> are gonna come up with a word that you both really like. Something that both of it makes you smile, makes you happy, makes you think positive thoughts. So uh, some of the words my clients have used, Christmas is a common one, not just because of the season we just ended, but um, Christmas sometimes, uh, glitter is a popular one I had a, a few couples use because glitter, it's such a silly word. Uh, one of my favorites actually that a couple came up with was dildo. Come on, dildo always makes you smile a little bit. Uh, so it's whatever works for you, whatever makes you think of something that kind of makes you just giggle a little bit or has a positive connotation within the couple, that's your word. And here's how you use it. So let's say the two of you are in some sort of argument, that same fight you've had a million times, or some, you just notice the energy shifting. You notice things start to get tense. Now, again, you need to be self-aware enough to notice when this happens. And I talk about self-awareness ad nauseum, don't I? And, here, and here's, again, another reason why. You can't use these great tools if you're not self-aware. If you're not in the moment going, oh crap, things are going south, we need to change it. So if you need to learn more about self-awareness, hop over to my website, check out the podcast, the blog post. I've got tons of free stuff on self-awareness and to help you get there right away. But in the meantime, uh, so you, that happens, you know, you see your partner go left or anything like that. What you do is you say the word and you'll say glitter. Okay. You'll say it. And the rules are that if your partner says it, you have to stop. I don't care if you were really in mid sentence, like I am right now, you would just stop. You'd shut up and stop. <laughs> and basically it's your signal that whatever you're saying is not being heard. Your partner's not hearing you. Your partner is not having it. They don't like your tone. I don't care what it is. Again, I don't care if you meant it. I don't care if you were thinking, oh, but I was being wonderful and I don't understand. And I, just shut up, just shut up. <laughs> really, I beg you, stop being so focused on being right. I say a lot, right? You can be correct or effective. You can't be both. So if you want to be effective, meaning you don't want to have this fight anymore and you want to be in a loving relationship and you want to have sex later, then just be quiet in that moment when your partner says this because it means you have to honor their feelings, whether you agree with them or not. They don't like where it's going. They feel somehow discounted, upset, like you're being nasty, whatever. You don't know what they feel, but you just know that it's going left. So you stop. And then from there, you guys can either just stop the conversation and go, okay, I heard you say glitter. It sounds like we're not in a good place right now. And you, or you could ask, remember, I'm all about asking questions. You could say, hey, do you want to continue the conversation? Um, you know, do you want me to say that differently? Can you tell me why you said glitter? What were you feeling or thinking that was happening? Um, and again, when you get the response, if you ask that question, you get a response like, well, you were being mean. You, you were, you know, don't defend it. Don't say, no, I wasn't because <laughs> this is what they thought. So instead, ask those questions. Say, okay, well, how else would you, you know, do you want me to, how, let me try to say that differently. Or you can say, let me try to say that differently then. Let me, let me take a moment and say what I was meaning to say differently. Or you can ask, what about what I said felt mean? Or, you know, because maybe it was your tone. Maybe it was the words. May, I don't know. Um, maybe there are my guess is they were picking up on something that was kind of mean, that you were a little angry or passive aggressive, whether you want to admit it or not, and they were picking up on that. That's my guess. But there are definitely some times where people project, meaning their own issues they put on you, and it's not what you were doing. So either way, it doesn't really matter because here you are stuck and you want to change it. So what using the wake up word does is it breaks the cycle, it breaks the pattern, and it opens something up. It opens up the conversation in a new 
way, which is so, so, so important if you want to create something different this next time. And again, the, the key is that you can't be angry that the person doesn't like the way you did something or doesn't like how you reacted. Instead, I need you to be open that they're right, right? Correct or effective, you know, this, that they're having their feelings, that they're allowed them, and that your job now is to figure out a way to still be heard or to be heard. You weren't being heard, so it's good that they said glitter or whatever because you weren't getting your point across. It was falling on deaf ears, and so it was a waste of your breath. And instead, how can you now move forward in, so that both of you can listen to what's happening? Okay, so I want you to start using the wake-up word. I'd love to hear how it works for you. You can... Uh, Put a little comment under this video. You can email me at abby at abbymedcalf.com if you have other questions about it. And other than that, that's it. I'm Dr. Abby Metcalf. I help people create happy and connected relationships even if their partner won't do a thing and I can help you. Take care, have a great day.